<laughs> Hello, everybody. My name is Ed. I'm in my armchair, and the smoking lamp is lit. And guess what I am smoking today? It just came in the mail today. It is my most beautiful favorite pipe. Look at this guy. It is a Stanwell. Duh. Number 11. Brushed pipe. Is that not gorgeous? And I'll tell you what happened. I found a few Stanwell, or actually a couple other pipes, brushed. And suddenly, I realized I really like them, and I'd like to get one other one, which would be the Stanwell number 11. One of my favorite shape pipes. And I couldn't find it anywhere. And Blake 1827, I believe. I think that's like in the day the year he was born. Um, shot me an email. Telling me he has one. And he gave it to me. Plus, also plus... Tin of tobacco, which I have never tried. Incredible. Again, that just the generosity of YouTube. Because he gave me this and told me specifically he doesn't need anything. Him and I have been talking together for quite a few years. And uh, here's one of my first... Um, gall winners and uh, you know he uh, has all that he needs and so I'm going to honor that except for I'll be paying that back for paying that forward I'll be finding somebody to just getting started or someplace somewhere that I could get that forward That's what I think it's all about. So, anyway. Again, I'll let you look at it. I mean, it's the number 11. And I imagine this was just kind of a limited run because you don't have too many of them out there to sell anymore. Um, that's probably why I couldn't find it. Add to my collection. Love it. So thank you, Jonathan. Love it. But that's not what we're here for today. Today, we are going to talk about Pipe Week. Coming up, it starts Sunday on Father's Day, and it'll go till Saturday. I think you still have a little time to get your nominees in for um, new presenters or artisan pipers. Do that through Flat Cap Piper. Having a little giveaway with that, but get that in. Let these people be known. So we appreciate that. But what I am going to do on Pipe Week is I did this last year. Well, definitely last year, but I had a video 
every day of Pipe Week. I'm going to do the same. This is going to be called 7x7. Seven Because seven. I'm going to be highlighting seven pipes every day for all seven days. They're going to be a couple categories. Some pipes might be seen a couple times, but depending on our category. So I'm hoping you will take, stay tuned for all of them. Just keep it right on this channel, you know. So that'll be coming up Sunday, very soon. And then you might say, well, Ed, how do you have time to smoke a pipe when you've got to be so incredibly busy to do this? And it's like, well, <laughs> Dr. Bo wanted to be part of it also. So I said, okay, Dr. Bo, but you'll have to do a little work to become worthy, even though he is part of the order of the armchair now. So Dr. Bo needs to round up a lot of the, well, actually all of the pipes got to get them ready. Of course, with that, tons of pipe cleaners are going to be going through And of course, the cleanup of the pipes. And of course, remember, we also have the production assistance, lighting, makeup completely. Um, all that goes into videos. So it's going to be an awful lot of work. But it'll be worth it, because it is Pipe Week. So come along for the ride. I'll be seeing you Sunday to start it off. And of course, remember, we have the award ceremony that next Saturday to end Pipe Week. Brought to you by Flat Cap Piper. The Briar Report, Phil, and his million people crew. We'll be all helping put this together. So, yes. and remember then to like and subscribe. And if you don't like, you are not going to get to heaven. So I'll see you. Me and Dr. Bo will see you. Pipe week. And make your smoking lamp always be lit. And take care out there.